Hi there. In this video, we're going to play a little bit with near field communication using the MFRC522 uh, library. This is the unit, this is the module that comes in your kit. It's RFIO RFC522. This module allows us to scan. Uh, if you get it close enough, scan uh, either a, a fob or a key card and uh, see the contents of the card and actually change the contents of the card in order to do things. So let's take a close-up look at the, at the card itself. Um, there's one indicator light here, an LED. Note that this module uses 3.3 volts, not 5 volts. So you're going to have to use the 3.3 volt pin to power this device. Now, looking at the, uh, the pins, here's the 3.3 pin. Uh, it's, the name is actually obscured by a hole here, but it's 3.3 volts on this end. You'll need to connect the reset. The reset doesn't go to the reset on the Arduino, it goes to um, a pin, uh, a digital pin on the, uh, on the Uno. This is ground. This is IRQ and this is not connected. This is the MISO, MOSI, SCK, and SDA. All of the pins except for the IRQ need to be connected to the UNO. Go back to our regular focus here. And uh, let's connect this up and we'll use our handy dandy rainbow connector. So we'll connect ground to 3.3 volts. Let's uh, get a little bit more better focus here. So the brown is 3.3 volts. No, let's change that. Let's um, put the brown as ground. Red as 3.3 and the orange will be reset. IRQ isn't required, but MISO is yellow, MOSI is green, SCK is blue, and SDA will be gray. Those are firmly in. Okay. So let's go backwards here. Now the sketch, sketches that we're going to use before we do this connection, sketches that we use are from a, uh, a library which is available. Let's switch over to our uh, screen. And 
in Sketch, when we go to Include Library, we can manage the libraries. And if you go to Contributed and do a search for MFRC, you'll see a library here. It's part of the, the, um, the Arduino family, but it is not part of the default install. So you probably won't have it on your version of Arduino. So you have to install it. And mine is already installed, so my install button is grayed out. But if it isn't installed, you can just click the install button, install it, close it, and then you can open up the library examples. So under examples, we'll go to examples from custom libraries, and you might have to scroll down, but in MFRC 522, you should have all of these examples. And the first one we're going to look at uh, is dump info. And dump info will just scan a, a card or a key fob and it will dump all the information from the memory of the uh, of the fob or the key card onto the serial monitor screen. But in order to get the module set up, the layout is described here. So the reset on the module reset button, or sorry, the reset pin connects to the Arduino Uno pin number nine, SDA to 10, MOSI 11, MISO 12, and SCK to pin 13. So uh, I'm going to, to do that. I'll do it off camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, um, I think we're, I think we've got everything connected up, so uh, we won't be able to know until we load up the software. So let's, uh, let's load it up now. Let's verify that. Okay, so the idea of this is that we open the serial monitor and then we place our either our key card or the uh, fob on the reader. So I'm going to put the key card on the reader and see what happens. And I'm, I'm leaving it on, on the reader. I'm not taking it away because it takes some time to download all of that information in. And so the, uh, the key card has given us the entire dump. I can then remove the card and uh, we can see all the different sectors. So there are uh, 15 sectors and each sector has four blocks and uh, the first block is usually the one that is is read by default but you can write into any of these blocks so uh, for this we're going to open up another sketch and we'll write into block one a secret word. Oh, this is firmware check. If you're not quite sure if the 
module is working, you can you can check it here. Let's do that now. So you, you don't have to put a key card on it. It will just automatically test the unit to see if it's working and it is working. So there's in examples, we'll go back to MFRC 522. We'll go to the sketch called RFID Write Personal Data. We'll upload it. <clears throat> And uh, open up the <clears throat> excuse me, open up the serial monitor, and I'll place my card on the reader, and I'll put in my family name and end with a pound symbol, and press return, and it succeeded. So if we go back and dump the info, so we have to open up, uh, download the, upload the um, software back into the Uno, set up the serial monitor, and we'll check our, our card now. Now my family name was written to uh, block one in hexadecimal. So we can copy this and go to our hex to ASCII text converter, paste that in and convert it and that's my name there. 4C, 6 6 6C, 6 6 6E, and 63 are the ASCII hexadecimal values for these letters. We can also, in another sketch, make a small change to the default keys sketch. The default keys sketch uh, defaults to reading block zero. We can get it to read block one. And uh, this is my name here. Now, I'm not going to do this, but if you can, if the system that you've sketched that you've just loaded in can read a string of values, you can use this as a starting point and get it to test when someone puts their key card on the reader to read this block, and if it has the correct characters, you can get it to do something. For example, you could get it to uh, actuate a servo that would unlock a door, for example. And just to give you a bit of a clue, in the examples, there is something that does that called servo motor. Now, I haven't looked into it. I haven't really looked at it other than just to read this a little, a little bit to look at the sketch. It seems quite long and complicated, but this may give you, if that's something that you wanted to try, could give you... Uh, an idea of how to actually make a locking mechanism 
using the RFID near field communication key card. Have fun and see you next time.